Hey guys, Joel back at it once again with some OCR FSMQ, and uh, yeah, this is the third part of you know the course uh, I've I've put together, and this is the gradient of a line. Um, so the learn objective is to plot straight lines, understand gradient, and to use the relationships of coordinates. And uh, this is the start of a, a series of topics that um, includes the midpoint of a line, uh, the distance between two points and the equation of a straight line, which we'll be doing in the coming episodes. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully uh, you'll enjoy that. And there's a little bit on intersection after that as well, and uh, the circle. So that's the next few weeks, well, not a few weeks, a uh, few days, or a few episodes, whenever you're watching this. So this could be long into the future. Um, but, yeah, let's have a look. So a straight line is defined by its two main features, the gradient, and a known point, which is usually where it crosses the y-axis. So, uh, if you want to know these without having to draw the graph, uh, that would be found in the equation of the line, as long as it is in a very specific format, which is y equals mx plus c, very famous um, equation that, and you'll have come across that in higher GCSE. Uh, so, but one thing to stress is that y must be on its own, and it can be a multiple of y, for example, 2y or 3y or 6y, um, must be y on its own. So the y will tell you, uh, sorry, the, the m in front of the x will tell you how steep the line is, i.e. the gradient, and the c will tell you the way it crosses the y-axis, and that can be found by letting x equal 0, because funnily enough, if you let x equal 0, that part of the equation dies. Uh, I will just get my pen ready. Just so I can, um, you know, make some uh, notes. So that will die when x is 0. And you will just be left with y equals c. Which is, funnily enough, the y, uh, the y intersection. So, uh, I, I don't want to insult your intelligence too much. But what is the gradient of uh, and y, um, y intercept of the following lines? Um, I mean, pause the video if you want to have a quick go, and I'll put the answers up after that, but, um, yeah, so there's your warning, and now we'll start. So, it's in the correct format, y equals mx plus c, your gradient will be 2, because that's attached to the x, like that, and um, your intercept will be at y equals 1, because uh, that's the c part. And it's the same for all of these, a third minus 3x, the only interesting ones come here because it's not in the correct format. It's actually x plus y, so we're going to have to shift that x over to the other side and call it that. And now it's in a user-friendly format, where the gradient will be minus 1, because of that minus sign there. And your y-intercept will be 12. And it's the same for these ones. And uh, this is a nice little one at the, the bottom here. Uh, you know, get rid of fractions. Our times that throw up by 6. And uh, get that. And then we want it like that. Uh, well, hold on a second. Uh, so we, we can uh, shift him over the other side and call it 2y equals 6 minus 3x. So we'll call it that now. And cross out that. And then divide both sides by 2. So you get minus 3 over 2. And that will become 3. So that's me doing it on the hop there. And, uh, so your gradient is minus 3 over 2 and your y-intercept will be a 3. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. Hopefully you got them all right if you gave them a go. But that is um, GCSE. So let's have a look at the line y equals mx plus c. <sighs> to work out gradient, you would usually do uh, the change in y over change in x. You can count the squares. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you'll get Three fifths once you've cancelled down. Uh, so there you go. That that line is y equals th three fifths of x. These are all um, similar lines with the same gradient, and parallel lines have the same gradient and similar equations. The only thing that changes with them is the y-intercept, and that is a bit of theory that we'll we'll talk about. Parallel lines. You might be asked in an exam, uh, name a parallel line to this equation, and you would come up with one of these, which is easy enough for a couple of marks in an exam. Uh, same with this, uh, we have a line going slap bang through the middle and that is a right angle, so it is perpendicular to it. Um, and there's a relationship between them gradients as well. 
it is 5 thirds. So it looks very similar to 3 fifths, but negative 5 thirds. So you do the negative reciprocate, uh, reciprocal of the gradient to work out the, uh, the, the gradient of a perpendicular line. So you might be asked that in an um, exam, and we'll particularly talk about this when we're talking about tangents and normals, because tangents uh, are, funnily enough, perpendicular to normals, so you have to use relationships of gradients to work out the equations of them. But that's way down the line um, in a, f a few episodes' time. But there we go. If we had parallel and perpendicular gradients, uh, have a quick go. At, uh, at this if you want to pause the video and see if you get the answers but uh, yeah I'm going to take you through them now so there's your warning and now here we go, oh, here we go. I haven't done this but uh, parallel so that will be 2 uh, gradient of 2 and perpendicular will be negative a half this is difficult to do on a, on a, with a mouse um, parallel will be gradient 3 and perpendicular will be negative a third I am meant to be writing lines here, but I'm just writing the gradient. If you've got this gradient next to your x, you've done a good job. Uh, parallel will be anything with a gradient of a half. And uh, the perpendicular will be minus 2, because you roll it over and sign change. This one I'm going to have to take the x over the other side. So it's a gradient of minus 1 for parallel. And perpendicular will just be 1, because minus 1 is really saying minus 1 over 1 and you uh, roll it over and sign change and you get that. Uh, move the 2x over to the other side so we're going to get a gradient of minus 2 so our perpendicular gradient is 1 over 2 or a half, whatever you like. So now we're going to get into the real meat of the lesson advanced level gradient so we can work out the, the gradient of a piece of, of a line without the need to draw it. We have the power. Uh, no no time for pictures anymore. All we need are two coordinates that we know uh, the section of the line goes through. So, if a line goes through coordinates AB and CD, like that, then the gradient of the line is D minus B over C minus A. But an easy way to think of this, uh, there, there's the line, uh, there's AB over here, and there's CD. But just think of this as back take back over front take front. So back take back over front take front. And, you know, let the formula do the work, but be very, very careful of double negatives because they do pop up a hell of a lot in uh, exams. So be very, very wary of that. But we will do an example right now. So what is the gradient of the line that joins 3, 5 to 11, 17? So we'll call the formula. Back take back over front take front, D minus B over C minus A. Put in with numbers, so 17 minus 5 over 11 minus 3, so that is 12 over 8, which can cancel down to 3 over 2. And if you want to show off, you can put the perpendicular gradient of minus 2 thirds, but you know, it won't score you any more points in an exam. Uh, do another one. Uh, what is the gradient of the line that joins minus 2 to 7? to uh, 4 minus 9, quote the formula, back take back over front take front. So uh, put in the numbers, minus 9, minus 7, and 4 minus minus 2, so careful of that double negative, and you'll get that. And that'll cancel down to minus 8 over 3, and if you want to show off, we can do the perpendicular gradient of that, which will just be a positive 3 eighths. So that's two examples there. Now then, we'll bring generics into our work here. So the line that joins 4 minus 3 to A, uh, A11, uh, has a gradient of a half. Find the value of A. So there's where the gradient equation. Back take back over, front take front. Uh, so a half. Uh, we're told the gradient is a half, so the half equals 11 minus minus 3, back take back, over A minus 4, front take front. And just cancelling that down a little bit, we get a half equals uh, 14 over A uh, minus 4. And what you do there is take the 2 up there and take the A minus 4 up there, cross multiply. So you get A minus 4 equals 28. Take the 4 over the other side, your A must have been a 32. 
So that is the answer. And that is the end of the lesson for today. Uh, gradient of a line. Uh, it's fairly uh, simple stuff, but obviously it's formula work, and you do have to learn that formula in uh, an exam, so you might want to write it down uh, and, and learn it. But back take, back over, front take, front. Remember that. That's how I have remember it. I was taught that back in year 10, and four years later, I still remember it as clear as day. And, uh, yeah, it's a good way to remember it. Uh, and, yeah, uh, any questions that you guys have, uh, put them in the comments section. I'll answer them as quickly as possible, and hopefully as well as possible. Uh, all, all the credit uh, to the PowerPoints goes to my maths teacher. I have tweaked them uh, for my own need, and, uh, you know, added a few questions in there, taken a few out. You know, jigged around with the, the PowerPoints. Later on, you'll see they become more and more my PowerPoints rather than me teachers, which is, you know, good for me because I, I hopefully know what's coming next. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed and f have found it helpful. Uh, please leave a like if you did. Uh, leave a dislike and a comment why uh, if, if it hasn't helped you. And leave some uh, constructive feedback. You know, I'm not a qualified teacher. I'm just teaching this course in my school. So, um, yeah, hopefully hopefully you guys will understand that. And, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you find this useful. And good luck for your FSMQ if this is the last video you watch. Um, you know, I'm sure you'll be fine. Just remember, back take, back over, front take, front, and you'll get the gradient question right. But, yeah, hopefully you are having a wonderful day. I'll see you next time for uh, the midpoint of a line. And, well, no, we'll, we'll, we're merging a few into into the next lesson but hopefully you look forward to that more line geometry and uh, yeah talk to you guys then see you later